What's up everyone? Today we're talking about a bait that was literally made like just down the road, like in the same city, like fishing the same bodies of water that I fish every day, which is kind of cool. And it's taken the nation by storm. It's the Ned Rig. But I mean, past couple years, it's starting to get a little bit more tricky to get a couple bites on that thing. We've seen a few of them thrown around here. So we're gonna go over a little trick to get a few more bites and help kind of trick those wary bass that have maybe seen a Ned Rig before into biting your baits. So let's go to the fly tying stand and let's check it out. All right guys, the ingredients we're gonna need to make these hairy Ned heads is a pack of Ned Rig hooks. These are the Ned Lock Z's, size 1 10th from Z-Man. So that's first thing we're gonna need. We're gonna need some brown feathers. You kind of want a good, a little bit longer one. Pretty good, pretty good width to it there. So you're gonna want that, and then some black thread. So that's the ingredients. Hang around to the end of the video, and we're gonna let one lucky person try out a pack of these things. So pay attention to the end of the video. All right, I already got the uh, thread started on our net head here. We're gonna work from this little locker forward. We're not gonna go back here. That's where the meat's gonna be. We don't need to mess with that. So go to our little pack here. We're gonna, or our little feathers here. We're gonna grab one, pluck it off. And we don't need, we don't need it this long. We need something a little bit shorter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, kind of see where that feather kind of tapers down. It's got the bigger, thicker, root part I guess there then it kind of tapers down and gets a little bit more wispy on this end so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of take it and cut it just you you want a pretty wispy feather so about right there about that much left what we're going to do is we're going to take it we're going to wrap it around the part of the net here kind of work it back a little bit not too far bring our thread back forward and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the feather and start going around the shank of the hook. Just if your fly tire, you know this move. And we're just gonna work that feather back to the front of the net head. Just creating a good little poof ball here. Then once we kind of get it there, you wanna make sure you hold on to that feather. And then we're just gonna start zigzagging our thread back and forth to secure that feather down. All right, then we're just gonna finish it off, go around the front a little bit, finish her. Do about three or four of these. Just cut off our excess. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this little end of this, this feather here that's kind of still showing. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just, it's an awkward looking little feather there. So I'm gonna take her and kind of cut her back a touch. So that's what it looks like. Harry Ned, let's slap a bait on here and see what she looks like in the water. We are out here at our test tank, which is basically a glass on the stove, but it's nice and white and you can see it real good in there. So, I don't think you're ready for this peanut butter and jelly Nedley. Let's take a look at it. Three, two, one. Now, if you look at it, it kind of landed a little weird there and I'm making a mess. But that sucker adds just a lot of flair on the bottom of that thing. I don't know if you can see it through the top. It almost looks more like it just kind of spiders out a little bit. And it flows real nice in the water. Really looks like a crawfish antenna. So you kind of drag it along the bottom and it just kind of adds a little bit of secondary action to it. Just a little bit of something. Like I said, it really imitates a crawfish antenna really, really well. Something they're really used to seeing on these smaller crawdad baits. All right, guys, that's the deadly hairy Nedley right there. So what we're going to do, 
I bought a pack of these Ned heads. I tied a couple of these brown ones up. That's my color recommendation. What you're going to need to do, like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. And January 1st, I'm going to pick a winner. And you basically, you get the whole pack of Ned heads. Um, you get to choose three different colors on top of the two brown ones that I recommend. I've literally got any color you could think of. Yellow, purple, green, anything. Black, white, anything. So, yeah, basically, like and comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And like I said, January 1st, I'm going to pick a winner. And get a hold of me and tell me the three other colors you want. So, don't take my word for it that these things work. Try it out for yourself.